Hey, welcome back to my channel. Okay, this is Tracy here. Uh, this is the Harlem 125 91. And no, the 91 is not wavy. It's actually quite straight. I uh, This is the last time you guys I'll do a video based on this type of work where you, you know, you turn your straight wig into what looks like a Brazilian bundle. Okay, well, I decided to try that with this. This is not my first time doing this with this type of wig, this this color blonde, but I decided to try it again, and this is how it looks. Now, what I wanted to say, in case you guys are wondering, why didn't I crimp all of it? Okay, I could go back and actually do that from here, but I didn't do it here because I added a root today, as you can you guys can see I added a root with my pencil my eyeliner pencil I used both uh, black and brown and I was afraid that if I crimped that area of the wig that it might bleed you know the hot water might cause it to bleed into the rest of the wig and I'm not having that so I didn't do it but uh, if you guys think that I should have been should have crimped it at least all the way up from here, I could go back and do that. I just wasn't sure this was going to turn out right, and I wasn't sure it was going to look good. And and the jury is still out on that, because it's platinum blonde, it's kind of kind of thick and wavy, so that looks good on darker colors. Not so sure about this. And this wig, of course, you know, is all the way down to mid-thigh. So this is that 42-inch uh, unit. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that this is what I did. Uh, I don't know what the back looks like. Remember I told you guys if you part in the back, the tracks will show? Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the side after what I've done. And... Okay, so maybe you guys could see that. All right, and also, I just keep stuff in this room, so if you guys see junk, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking when I wear it, maybe I'll wear it back so the root will show. I don't know. I, I, I might even try to add some wave up here as much as I can. But I just want to show you guys, just in case you have the Harlem uh, LSD 91, and you're thinking about doing this, uh, this is what it will look like. You know, I parted it in four braids like I usually do. I made sure the water was like super, super, duper, duper hot. And then I dunk the braids in one at a time. I make sure all the water is out. And I don't. Even, I, you don't have to wait for it to cool off. The crimp is going to happen like that. Okay? And as soon as you get all the water out, you can put the wig on your head and you can unbraid it then, which is what I do. So, yeah, this is how it's looking. Okay? But I, I kind of think I should have did it from up here, but I was afraid to. I, I really was. But I still might do that, you guys. I still might, you know. Probably would help. Okay, well, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I try to be really informative about how I like to change and alter video. I mean, a wig. I'd like to get this again and dye it in another color, if, if at all possible. I've found that a lot of these wigs, you can't do that with them. So uh, if I do that, I'll make a video, and if it's successful, I'll show you guys what I did. And I'll tell you what dye that I used. M mind you, I tried this before, and I was not successful. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe this video. I mean, subscribe to my channel and rate this video, and let me know what you think of what I did to the Harlem 125 LSD 91, the straight one. All right. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Till next time.